taken an outside linebacker, number 50, Jack Lynn, and put him inside. Oh, my! Again, and it's Devers knocking it away, and Minnesota's got the football. Come on, Martin, on the pickup. My goodness. Their techniques well. They're going to pressure you and mix enough man and zone to give the quarterback problems. It's a four-man rush right up the middle, and it pays off. Jack Lynn snuck through and blew it up in the backfield. You're going to see right here, looks like a three-man line. Jack comes up the middle late. Buffett locked it up for Mitchell, and it's intercepted. Hit off by Kamal Martin. A man number 49 is a true freshman. Goes up, sees the ball, holds it to his body. Mitchell trying to rake it away from him after he brings it down. Only a three-man rush. Ball checks it down. That's good defense by Minnesota. That's pretty good. Play number 13 of the drive. Blau into coverage intercepted. His second pick. This one's Kamal Martin, and there was no window for Blau. And gets upfield, but he was doubled. Actually, might have been tripled. This is a great example. Jones on the delay. Oh, what a big play by Kamal Martin. I've been shocked that Scott was back on the field. London, good thing they turned to him, oh, he dropped it! And then it goes out of bounds before Jacob Huff could corral it for Minnesota. First third down and long in quite a while for Michigan offensively. Over the middle, that's Shaley. And he stopped immediately at the 33. Six minutes left, even second quarter. And Thorson is dropped. So Minnesota looking much better defensively here on this series. A loss of four on the sack. Yeah, you'll see it right here. And they talked about rush. They talked about in passing situations taking Kamal Martin, a linebacker. They line up out of the eye. Ramish leading the way for Taylor. And he comes up short. The ball came loose. He put it on the ground. Jonathan Taylor had had some issues this year fumbling the football. It was a big hit Thomas by Barber. Thomas Barber. Yeah, Barber from the Barber family. You've heard that name associated mm. with Minnesota Gopher football for years. And, and the Gophers have it. A big, big hit. This is just textbook. Watch him fill the gap there. Lower, wrap, knock the ball out. Mm. Kamal Martin, number 21, making the recovery. For the Gophers, they get a big break right around midfield. Snow State third down and three. McMarion got the handoff to Hulkin, but he doesn't get the first down line. A whole host of Gophers meet him. So they'll have to find a different go-to receiver if they're coming back. Raglan over the middle, it's caught. That's his tight end, Quinton Hardy, but he's short of the first down by about two yards. Put him in the chest. Haskins hands it off, and Minnesota ready. J.K. Dobbins stood up and driven backwards. Remember, Mike Weber went out limping. On third and three. Martinez, quick toss. Washington with a juggling catch, but he did not get the first down as we check in in Chicago. Mike Hall's got our first update of the day. On third and ten. Washington trying to step to the outside, and Washington pulled down by Kamal Martin. Ryan Reimers, the receivers to the top of the screen for Nebraska. High snap, Martinez able to pull it down. Washington pounded down by Kamal Martin. We talked a lot about Blake Cashman today. Kamal Martin's played a whale of a game. On third and three, Scott out of the backfield, his second catch this drive, and he appears to be short. Ryan's a figure would have been caught. Third and long. Uh, the hail is smacked right away. And by Kamal Martin. Interior defensive lineman for this Minnesota defense, O.J. Smith. 
is also out as well. So they're getting a nice push up front without one of their better players. Ramsey Tuck now decides to throw and finds Taylor. Let's get a gain out of it. Ramsey gave up on the pass early and then got rid of it. Climbing the record books. He's out of the game now. Taiwan Deal, who's back healthy, is back in. And he's snowed under by Kamal Martin, the linebacker. Groshik, the tailback, clock winding. Hornybrook down the middle. He's got Danny Davis. Ball on the deck. And Wisconsin did get back on it with Ferguson for the Badgers. Yeah, and Wisconsin is going to pull a timeout to try to extend it. But I think Danny Davis might have been down, even though Wisconsin jumped on it anyway. But if Wisconsin wanted to try to get... ABC at 7.30 Eastern time. And an interception here in the final seconds by Kamal Martin after the timeout. And it be the last play of the first half on a pick. You don't need the timeouts. You don't need it. You need to get to the locker room. He's trying to find Ahmad Anderson off his left hand. And Kamal Martin comes down with his first yeah, interception. Yeah, there should be two seconds on the clock. Now you're Minnesota. This is another gift. Third and 13. The pass is picked off. Interception, Kamal Martin, linebacker. And Minnesota forces the turnover here late in the third, second one. Zone coverage, you're looking at the quarterback, C21, staring right at him, staring at his eyes, and he goes right to the ball. That is great, great linebacker play. That is fantastic. Go to that curl, eyes on the quarterback. Eyes led him right to the ball. To counter that, they'll try to get rid of the ball quickly. Peters stepping away. Peters going to try to scramble for the first down. Lost the football. Illinois got it at the 40-yard line after Kamal Martin stripped it out. But Illinois is short of the first down. Pulls the ball down quick. Carter Coughlin is one of the guys who's got to the edge and forced that to step up in the pocket. You're going to watch Coughlin. You can see. See how he is a nice. He's one of those guys who's kind of natural with, with his pass rush. He forced it back up inside. And they force the fourth down. The four man rush. Maybe three. Three man dropping eight. Robinson scrambling. Tripped up short of the first down. Pick him up and fell. Run free. Third sack of the day for the Gophers. Big hit at the 39 yard line from Kamal Mark. Hand off to Pacheco, who gets absolutely swarmed. Third and nine. Langan steps up and tripped up. Stuck with it, though. Kirk Ferentz said he learned a lot about him, knowing that he was loyal. Got it again, but dropped in the backfield for a loss of two by Kamal Martin. And it's third down. Under pressure, and down he goes. Held onto the ball for a long time. And Kamal Martin on a linebacker blitz made him pay. And it's a three and out start for Northwestern. Kamal Martin at the bottom of the screen. Him and Coughlin, 21, wraps around, unblocked, gets home. So to play man-to-man -man coverage. I take a shot down here at the bottom of the screen. Marty finds a crosser. Riley Lee's brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Marty's pass is complete. One seconds left. If you get replay, to give you a free 15 yards there as Evan Hull ends up in the wash after a gain of a couple. Down to three seconds to go in the half, and that should take us to halftime. Under P.J. Fleck, 0-13. Oh They'll have to reverse that strong trend if they're going to keep the axe and head to Indy.